Rebecca Seitz. But she was shocked to see what she rightly calls a soft porn image flash across her screen at 8 in the morning as she was watching Good Morning America with her 8-year-old son. Rather than just sit there and do nothing, Rebecca decided to fight back. Rebecca is an example of what we all need to be doing. We need to be doing it more often. That was last night's show. I was speaking about Rebecca Seitz as I was explaining what was going on with Science World in Vancouver and their uh, overly graphic sex exhibit there. I'm pl pleased to say that we're joined tonight by Rebecca Seitz from Naples, Florida. And uh, you are an inspiration, uh, Ms. Seitz. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for that. Thank you for having me. You, um, you're taking a very positive view of what you can do, and you've decided not just to complain, although you have. Uh, you, you've taken a number of actions to uh, voice your displeasure with ABC for putting on, which, I, I mean, I've seen the image, and probably we're not going to show it here. I, I don't think we are anyway. But, I mean, essentially an image of man and woman having sex at 8 a.m. as you're, you're eating cornflakes, as you say, with your 8-year-old your son. That would be shocking, but rather than just take the negative of complaining, you're looking to do something positive. Explain your outlook on that and why. Well, I think mainly because I actually do want to affect change. It's not enough to gripe about something, or at least I wasn't raised to just gripe about something. If you see something and you think it's wrong, do something about it. And so when I saw this, I know that it's wrong. I know that it doesn't need to happen again, and so we do have to address that. We do have to say no. You cannot do this. This is not okay. But I don't want to just say no. I want to create something to say yes to. So I would rather spend time creating the solution than just griping about the problem. All right. I speak to uh, all kinds of groups across the country, and they're often upset about what they see in the movies, what they see on TV. And I say, look, if you don't like what's on the channel, you can change the channel. And I always tell them I either mean that physically, you can just click away from it, or you can get in the game and change the channel from the inside. Is that what you're advocating people do? Get involved in, in creating it, it content is, in some way? It is exactly. It's not enough to do as many have said on my blog of I just cut my cable and threw my television out. The way what we can do here that's positive is we can create good content. We can make certain that it's distributed, that it is available for us to turn to. Um, so that's what we did when we created Sun, Spirit of Naples. It's a nonprofit that I co-chair, and it's an aggregator for content creators. We get together, we create films, we create television shows, we create good books, so that those of us who want just good quality entertainment, just a story that entertains us without greatly offending our values or what the values of anybody else in the room, such as a child, we can all get together and we can say, okay, let's, let's create it. Let's work together not just to create it, but to, but to make certain that it's available as an alternative for people to turn to. Uh, there is an incredible market for um, material that is not graphic in nature, either in terms of violence or sex or you know, other things that you know, families just don't want their, their kids seeing. And I, I want to read a quote that I, full credit okay. to you, I, I stole it from your blog today. Uh, it's from John Fithian, <laughs> the, the National Association of Theater Owners president. And he said, if exhibitors could make one recommendation to our studio partners, it would be to make more family titles and fewer R-rated movies. Only two R-rated movies made the top 20 last year, even though more R-rated movies were distributed than any other rating category. Uh, G-rated movies and PG movies are the top grocers. That's what people want to go and see because they can take their kids to it. They're, right. they're not bothered uh, going as a whole family. Uh, why do you think on television there is this attempt to push the envelope? They can see in movies what works, but in TV they, they seem to be saying, no, edgier and edgier all the time. It actually, edgier and edgier all the time doesn't work in television either. The reason that we see it in television and the reason that we see it in films, despite the fact that we have been voting with our dollars for at least 10 years and sending a very clear message that the type of content we want is not R-rated movies, is not television shows that push the edge, as they like to say, so that they can sound avant-garde and fantastic and artistic. We have said repeatedly with dollars, we do not want that. So yeah. we have to look at this 10 years later, seeing that it hasn't changed, and think, well, it, dollars don't speak. It's ideology. It's not that I can take money from them. They have plenty of money. We can't impact enough with money and just stop watching. We have to change the content or... 
we have to change the ideology of the content creators, one or the other. Yeah, I was uh, listening to the radio this morning, Music Channel, and they were talking about Duck Dynasty's premiere the other night. Uh, season yeah. four of their yeah. show, top rated show. Uh, there's nothing edgy about Duck Dynasty, and, but, no. you know, just a typical radio DJ and saying that he doesn't get it and he doesn't understand how this is bigger than Jersey Shore was, but m I think it was three million more people oh watching my. Wednesday night's episode of Duck Dynasty than watch Jersey Shore. That should send people a message, but it's not. So you, you've got this son of Naples, or sorry, son of Naples, spirit of Naples, uh, spirit, it spells okay. out son, spirit, spirit of, of Naples. Naples coming up. That's in October. Mm -hmm. are, are you looking for people from outside the Naples area to come and, and be involved and, and, and talk to other, Absolutely. other people that want to make movies and books and so on? Yes, that is not only a national conference, that is an international conference. That conference is created specifically for writers and creators of content who want to learn how to create better content, who want to do this with excellence, and who want to get in touch with individuals who can help them get it distributed on television, in theaters, published in books. They need to get in contact with the individuals that we have coming as faculty to that conference so that it, they don't just create content, which is necessary it's needed you've got to get it out there just to create it you have to get it out there exactly all right rebecca it's been great talking to you thanks so much and hopefully you inspire a few people to to get involved we will put contact information Thank for you. spirit of naples up on our facebook page right. facebook.com just punch in byline or my name you'll find it and we'll make sure that her information is there by the end of the show stick around more to come